They say things like, you know, no one's ever gotten me to smile before, you know, like I'm always used to like sitting there and feeling awkward in front of the camera and I hate it. And you just made me feel so relaxed. And this is what I want. This is, this is the end goal. My success is making everyone feel comfortable in their own skin. That's my success. Everything else is just overflow. It's just bonus cherry on the top. Right. Right. So. Hello everyone, welcome to Makers Unleashed, where we do videos to present uh, great artists and artisans and makers. And today we have a photographer. We have Stephanie from Bliss Picks Photography. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me here. Well, it's thank great. you for having us to your home and your backyard, and it's beautiful. So Stephanie, we want to know a little bit about you. So maybe you can sort of tell us how you, where you started your photography career how what is what well, made you become a photographer as well <laughs> well i guess i have to uh kind of thank my grandfather because he's actually or was an actual amateur photographer and he used to take very uh very um i would say professional like photos and so that really comes from him and it's been passed down really generationally i know my mom was taking photos a little bit too and i know my sister's very artistic as well so that side really comes from him and at one point, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do when I got out of high school. I really liked photography. You know, I was, um, I was a school photographer. Um, I also had a job as the architecture photographer for Carlton Place Heritage Committee. So I was taking mm-hmm. photos of uh, old heritage homes that were going to be displayed. And so I just had to, you know, um, capture their beauty. And so I've always kind of had this thing about photographs, but I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. And so I decided that I was going to um, not only apply for a photography program, but for other programs like counseling, social working, helping people, all these kinds of things. And so when I got accepted to all of them, it was really like, what do I do now? And so I said, okay, it's photography. Let's do it and let's try it. And the rest is kind of history. I mean, everything sprouted from there. I got my job at a local photography studio. Um, through one of my professors so that was amazing and that's how I really started um, my career is through through that right so you had both the experience from before you went to school right with your grandfather yeah and and probably you probably played around with it yourself yeah exactly yeah and then you got it at school and so forth yeah the proper education Related to that as well, right? Yes, so it's not just at Algonquin College. Algonquin yeah, College, it was right. a two-year program. I learned so much. Right. Um, thank you, Bowie and Deneen <laughs> and Jason and Gary and Andrew Belfour and all the other amazing professors that I had. Angelina Dunn, sorry, you're the editor, so I should know <laughs> you too. Oh, gosh. They've done so much for me. They really helped me. And uh, I really couldn't have done any of it without them. Bowie especially. Bowie's the one that got me my job. Mm-hmm. So he's mm-hmm. the one that really really pushed for me to have this position at a really fun family family studio which really helped me right right yeah and it gives you that at least that forward uh, foot forward type of you know getting your career going right to yeah have that education exactly. that was networking and, and so forth now did they do like uh like a co-op as well like yeah that? so that's what happened is that the local photographer was looking for another set of hands i did the co-op with her and of course she liked what i did and offered me a job right after and then i was there for a good 10 years basically okay. so wow. yeah okay that was an amazing okay. experience i I met so many people people from ottawa tourism politicians chris neal which was a crazy experience because of course at the time i wasn't really a hockey fan i didn't know anything about hockey and i didn't know he was a fighter either so i meet him and i think he's so (laughs) calm and he's very zen and he talks about liking yoga and like eating steak and everything's fine right and then all of a sudden he takes out these teeth and i'm like what happened here right like (laughs) and uh, i find out later that yeah he was a fighter but of course i wouldn't have known that because he was just so zen it was just so amazing just to meet these people it's like you think one thing yeah and then you meet them and they're They're a totally totally. different person and you know it's been amazing i've had an amazing journey really (laughs) 
you've had other opportunities as well with uh, yeah. with this or with that company. Yes, I've had many. Actually, one of the first things that I did that I worked on the biggest project that I started with was the nudes of Mississippi Mills. Okay. And so it was like a fundraiser calendar, which was super fun. So everyone, all of the local businesses from around, and you had to obviously in the nude, like most of them had garments, obviously, but very fun, very like. Um, it's in 2013 if you want to try and look it up and there's just pictures of like you know older couples you know jumping off the the dock and there's you know people curling and they're not wearing anything and things that are very funny uh, one of the best ones was um the uh, the glass blower and he's literally got the glass blowing right down there and it's really close <laughs> and it's like whoa man <laughs> so that yeah that was actually really really fun that was a really great project just to kind of start my career off right, so that right. it's, and it's totally me too i'm very fun laid back I, easy going i just want to you know enjoy it i was so. just going to say that you know, it probably takes a certain type of person to be able to get people to pose in almost nothing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and feel comfortable to yeah. take a photo shoot and everything yeah else, exactly right? so, one of the first photos I took actually was my boss at the time, the organizers, and they were naked. And oh. that was the first photo I took on the job. So it's like, here's your first day on the job. Let's take some nude photos. All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> you know, so it's uh, it was crazy. It's been so I'm so grateful. I'm very blessed. I've had an amazing experience. Everything. Cool. Honestly. Yeah. yeah, it definitely sounds like it. For yeah, sure. yeah. So that's great. So that brings you to, um, you know, that sort of built your... I guess your background of your style. Uh, yeah. So now do you have like your own style when you're now that you're on your, you're started on your own. We'll get to that in a little bit there about how you moved over to your, to your own business, but have you created your own style as well? Yeah, or? I think actually, uh, again, a lot is, I was looking through old photos and I didn't realize how much of it is really my grandfather. I've got a picture of me and my grandfather and we're piggybacking and you know, there's movement to his shots and there's a lot of, um, you know, it's not, as posed okay. as you know normal photographers and i really think that that's how my style just kind of started and then of course i just found places and organizations to work with that were more fun and you know easygoing and less posed and that's that's me that that's open, really open me. to your own style uh, exactly your own creativity for taking yeah the pictures, right? so as much as i definitely have learned from other photographers and i'm very thankful for that i've definitely found my own way of like doing things making things a little bit crazier <laughs> i got uh, at a wedding recently i got a bunch of bikers to jump in the air with their cigarettes and their beers like they were having the time of their life okay. like this is the kind of thing that i do i like making it just a little bit i turned it up just a crank you know <laughs> right. just a little bit so that's been really uh it's been really great yeah. cool you had some achievements or uh, awards i guess in the sense yes. of yes so yeah. in the last year and a half bliss Fix has been around so okay. um I've been nominated for two awards, Ottawa's Favorite Photographer nice. and Best Pet Portraits. So that's been really awesome. Voting ends July 31st. Please get your votes in. <laughs> um, <laughs> <getting> there, <very laughs> Don't know if I have the video out in time. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Make sure you look for my award. I'm going to get it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I've been published uh, in several different magazines, a uh, love issue for memorable moments, an emotions issue, a family issue. It's been really just amazing. And then just having this opportunity has been great. And then being asked to be on, um, you know, a, a part of the art expo was great. And just all these opportunities that have kind of sprouted. It's just, it's all amazing. And you know, I think that the biggest accomplishment has really been um, the clients and their feedback because mm -hmm. it's all about them. And they, you know, they say things like, you know, no one's ever gotten me to smile before. You know, like I'm always used to like sitting there and feeling awkward in front of camera and I hate it. And you just made me feel so relaxed. And this is what I want. This is right. this is the end goal. My success is making everyone feel comfortable in their own skin. Yeah. That's my success. Everything else is just overflow. It's just right. bonus, cherry right. on the top, right? right? So, right. So yeah. So I mean, I'm not a photographer, so no. Just listening to you, it sounds like there's one part is just you know learning how to take pictures, right? Yeah. And understanding the the lighting and angles and all of those yep. kind of things. But then the big part is the actual human side of things of dealing yeah. with the people and making them feel comfortable and exactly and yeah yeah so that's why i try and get people to like play games and i want you to come and at first i want you to play like some kind of game and maybe what i'll do is um maybe if it's a couple or something i'll get you to piggyback each other but now i'm telling him like you shake her off 
Like, I mean, I mean, really shake her off. Like, you really get out there, and then you run around, and like, we're gonna go back and forth, and we're gonna start playing a game, and before you know it, you don't even know you're being, you know, taken right. photos of, right. and you're just so comfortable and in the moment, and that's what I want. Just, okay. you know, and then the results kind of speak for themselves. It's all yeah. fun, all games, all genuine, right? <laughs> So, so Brenda, we learned some new things here. So we might, <laughs> in the next few videos, Please you move might say, in. Yeah, you want me to move in and out? I just start running across the camera, right? <laughs> there, exactly. Brenda's you should do it. I'm not joking. It could be like your brand thing, where it's like Brenda or John. Sorry, Paul. I don't know why I called you John Paul. Yeah, just back and forth, right? Oh yeah, you said you did say the magazine, right? Yes, well, yeah. So. Yep, published. Super happy about that. Right, Super proud. Right. That was crazy. It was actually uh, a last-minute thing. They were looking for entries for the Love magazine, and I had just done a recent photo shoot with one of my friends who had just got engaged, and I asked if she would allow me to use some of the photos for portfolio. And then I, I messaged her and I said, "There's a magazine. Do you think that like?" I could put in the entry. Is this okay with you? And she's like, yeah. And then we got it. I was so happy. Uh, okay, and okay. so, yeah, that was pretty awesome. It was awesome. Talk, touched on it a little bit because you did work for someone else for about yeah. 10 years and then you decided to go on your own or had to go on your own. Yeah. I mean, you can elaborate a little bit. But, uh. um, so, you know, COVID happened and, and things really changed for everyone. And, uh, you know, I, I had a, a couple deaths happen and I think that really led up to what do I want to do? How do I want my life to be? Who do I want to be? Where do I want to go? What are my goals? I need to start thinking about this. What do I really want to do? And in the long run, I just, uh, I needed to get out of the nest. I needed to do my own thing. I needed to be the photographer I wanted to be without any, anyone else. I wanted to do my own thing and kind of follow in my grandfather's footsteps because he was an entrepreneur too. So mm. that kind of, you know, yeah. fell into yeah. place. And I think that it's, it's what I meant to do. I think right. that the universe has really shown that this is what I meant to do. Okay. I'm really meant to help people feel comfortable and enjoy the experience. So I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that that must have been scary, though, to have a, you know, a job and then you're just saying, OK, this is it. I'm doing it on my own. How's yeah, that? it was definitely nerve wracking. There's been a lot of self realization, a lot of self work on my self worth, too. I've always kind of been that person that didn't go for it and that didn't think that she was good enough or capable and it's just like you know after 10 years I really thought to myself like I've been here for 10 years there are people that are doing it on their own that don't have my experience that don't have my education mm -hmm. that haven't met the kind of clients that I've met or the experiences mm -hmm. why can't I do it why am I not good enough right. and that that kind of changed and so I'm still kind of learning my own self-worth and I'm still kind of but it was so nerve-wracking but I'm so glad I did it. it's just a leap of faith it's like it's like 30 seconds of courage mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. you can do it you right. just need that 30 seconds of courage just to put it out there, put yourself out there. And once you're done those 30 seconds, it's like you feel fine, you feel safe, and you realize, like, yes, this is it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, think that's, I think that's great, great information for those who are on the same situation. They might be working for someone and thinking about doing this on their own or something like that. So yeah. that's great to know that... It can be done, people. If you just... It can be. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Oh, gosh, yeah. You don't want, if you want your son or your daughter to go into a specific field, don't get me to talk to them. I'm going to tell them to follow their dreams. Go for your dreams, man. <laughs> do it. Life's too short. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of talk about AI these days, and a lot of that kind of falls under with the with the software and making images and things like that how do you feel about or do you f have any any thoughts of being you know that's going to take your your business away or your talent away and things like that what's your op what's your op opinion on that at this point well i have good things and bad things to say so first yeah. it's the new photoshop has its pros and cons the ai is great if you don't know and you're a beginner that's great you can get it to generate basically anything you want and you can flip through it that's great but they keep updating and they keep removing tools mm -hmm. and if you don't know the basics you might be a little bit sol mm -hmm. because you don't know how to take things out and you don't know what well, what is this this is a new tool the old tool used to do this and so there's pros and cons to it i still have the old cs6 and i have the new version so i have both I really like the old version because I know all the shortcuts, yeah. you know, um, it's so much easier for me to use because I'm not, 
you know, you have to use special wording with the AI is like, take this out and then you'll see that it, what it generates. And it may not be exactly what you're looking for either because it's mm -hmm. a computer and it doesn't quite understand yet. I'm sure that at some point it is going to take away the editing jobs. Right. right. I don't know that it's going to take away all the photography jobs. Right. There's too many people that want videos. There's too many people that want wedding photos. There's too many people that need, you know, um, photographs for businesses, branding, commercial, everything like that. I don't think it's going to take away from us, it'll take away from the editors. The mm. editors are going to be non-existent. You're going to put it into a machine. The machine's going to say, this photo's blurry. This yeah. photo's good, whatever. It's going to crop it. It's going to put all your presets on it and whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, someone like you, it's not going to affect it. It'll actually make your job easier because that part you probably don't enjoy. I'm, I'm just assuming, but you may not enjoy the editing part. You probably enjoy being with the people, taking the pictures and well, those kind of things. At more. my old job, I was the second shooter, but I also was the Photoshop genius. Oh. That was on my business card. So oh. I was the one that you came to when you couldn't get something out. I'm the one that, you know, does the, the hard thing. So for me, it's fine. I don't spend that much time editing, but mm -hmm. for newcomers, it's like that, that would be hard. It would be hard to, to keep updated and they keep updating the software and they always have new tools and they always have something new. It, it would be hard to keep track mm -hmm. of everything. So right. Right. yeah, I, I don't, uh, I don't envy the newcomers because you, you don't have the old stuff. You don't realize, you know, we used to use film and, right. and dodged and burn with chemicals. Like uh, this yeah. is, this is really <laughs> new, right? So <laughs> It's yeah, a little bit yeah. different. Yeah, it's a different, uh, different, different type of uh, yeah how it used to be for sure. Yeah, right, uh, from film and. Or I no. say, you know, like I I'm so natural about that stuff. It's like learn how to do it first. Yeah. Learn how to do it with an old Photoshop too. Learn how to do it. New. Mm -hmm. Learn all the shortcuts, and then go play with the new thing that does it for you. Because mm -hmm. then, when the new thing that does it for you doesn't do it right, you know how to fix it. Yeah. And you yeah. don't have to worry about paying someone twenty bucks an hour. Like, oh gosh. Yeah. These photographers spending so much time on their editing, it's crazy to me. Learn mm -hmm. your learn your shortcuts, you know, spend time learning how to edit, make it go faster, you know, like find these ways because, you know, you're spending so much of your valuable time on it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully yeah. AI will help them a little bit too, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. yeah, <laughs> maybe. But like you said, they probably wouldn't know the difference that whatever the AI is doing anything is fine, but yeah. in reality it may not be as exactly. good as what you're looking for. Yeah. And you having your own style, you know your shortcuts that you need to make that style so exactly. it goes really quick, right? Once yeah. you get that, that Once flow, you get a flow going. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Huh. good point, see? Yes. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> so, um, again, this channel is to try and also help people who are watching to who are in photography uh, learn how to get to where you are. Uh, what kind of advice can you get to new aspiring photographers that want to get into the business? Stop comparing yourself to other people. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday. And don't doom scroll and look at other photographers and think, oh, why am I not doing that? Or, oh, you know, like, look how good this is. And, oh, but when you do that, you just, you lose your creativity. You have your own vision for photography and that's going to be different from everyone else's. And so just follow that. Go out and make content. Don't subject yourself to content. Go live your life. Go, go to New Brunswick, <laughs> you know, go to Toronto, go, yeah. go places, go live your life and, and create and don't be stuck on what, other people are doing because other people may not be doing the right things and you know and other people may be showing you the good parts of the job and not right. showing you the real parts of how it really is but uh, right. go good for advice. it go Great. for it though yeah. go for it yeah yeah <laughs> like you said that 30 seconds of courage just yeah do 30 it. seconds man just it's it. oh yeah. boy yeah it'll do wonders yeah and i think that that advice goes with any kind of not just photography but any kind of business right yeah you're exactly doing. Don't, don't compare yourself to others it's hard not to oh, it it's, is. it's human nature yes yeah, exactly course, but but it's to remind oneself that yeah don't don't go that route <laughs> yeah it's your journey yeah and i'm still kind of learning that too it's that you know the way that you look at yourself mm -hmm. is the way that your habits are and the way your actions are and it creates the person that you are yeah. so you have to have kind of this mentality of like i'm okay the way that i am and you're okay the way you are and we can celebrate each other without being competition right 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 and that's the way it should be um, tip or trick that you might be able to share or... don't think that just because you have an education that you're more qualified than someone who doesn't mm. that's a big one too
Yeah. Because I know in the photography industry, there's a lot of people who claim they're photographers that aren't educated, but there's also a lot of uneducated photographers that are naturally gifted. My grandfather included, and I can show you some pictures after yeah, if you want to yeah, add them. Yeah. Great, yeah. Um, but uh, good point. Yeah. Some absolutely. people are just naturally born that way, and some people have to practice, mm -hmm. right? And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. And some people like to like like the education just to have that networking and maybe knowing the the software mm -hmm. and things behind the photography that you know like photography is one thing but then the editing and other things that are yeah. related to the business and all of that kind of stuff i right? found right. that the education really helped me to understand photography and the equipment and all the technicalities and that was great but it didn't help me with people mm -hmm. it didn't really show me the mm -hmm. business side right and that's a big aspect of it so yeah. Yeah, you do have to put yourself out there a bit yeah but uh, the education will only take you so far. Some people who are really extroverted mm -hmm. and you know, they're, they're already naturally talented, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll do better. Yeah. And that's okay. Success, you know, yeah. allow other people to have success. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, You'll have success too, right? <laughs> it'd be interesting to see how many people from your class, right? That got where they went afterwards. And so Actually, there's, there's quite a few that aren't in the industry anymore. anymore. And yeah. there's probably about a handful of my class that are still doing it. They're all doing yeah. different things. Some people are doing some more with the uh, LGBTQ community. Some are doing more with that. Uh, I know one photographer, she's doing just strictly weddings now. So that's her thing. Um, I also mm -hmm. have some friends out west. They're doing some photography out there too, like families and stuff. But there's really not many of us. Yeah. It's very competitive. There's a lot of us out here, and so you kind of have to stick out a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're definitely doing that. So. Oh, I'm trying you know, with the with the leopard print that everyone knows me for too. Everyone knows me for weddings is the leopard print. Oh, now. Yeah, this is the wedding dress. So awesome. Yeah. So I think that we answer a lot of questions. We can keep going on for hours. I'm uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the next time come around. Yeah, of course. I'd love to have you guys. Yeah, yeah it'd be so good. So thank you for watching Makers Unleashed and meeting Stephanie from uh, Bliss Picks Photography. Uh, if you liked what you heard here today, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. And of course, we'll have all your links of your social media. Perfect. And whatever you have, we'll put down below in the description. Yes. So. If you guys want to get a hold of me, you can go to my website, www.blisspicksphotography.com. You can also check me out on Instagram at blisspicksphotography at blisspicks. And we're doing some sunflower mini sessions in Ashton. So if you go ahead to our website, you will find a button. You can go ahead and click and book your mini session. Thank you. Thank awesome. You, Thank you so much. Thanks for being so patient with us. And yes. Uh, oh, and patient with me too. <laughs>